eating any food for the next 30 days. Wait, won't you be hungry? This is what I currently look like, and I weigh 220 pounds. And when I say no food, I really mean it. This was the hardest- Dude, I'm trying to fix my fucking headset. I am not eating any food for the next 30 days. Oh, I'm gonna freak days. out. Wait, I'm gonna freak out. This is what I currently look. Oh, thank fuck, I fixed it. Like, and I weigh two- Dude, it was only working in one of my ears. Do I sound fine? Is everything good? I'm fucking live. I've been, I've been, go I've been gone for a fucking week. I'm here. I'm here, bitch. I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm ready to stream. How was VK? It's fucking great. A Rosty for the sub. A Rosty FN for the sub. What's up, man? Filth for the sub. Flex for the sub. You're sunburnt? You're red as shit. Go, go fuck yourself. I, I look fine. I look fine. I don't look bad at all. What are you talking about? <sighs> Am I that sunburnt? I'm not that sunburnt. Why are people saying I'm that sunburnt? I'm not that sunburnt. I'm like barely burnt. I would say it's majority tan. Majority tan, somewhat burnt. I look like a beat. I don't look like a beat. My Ricky 300 bits. My face is totally weird. It's not weird. Dude, I'm ready for reactions today. I have a lot stocked up that are pretty fucking good today. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to grind. I'm ready to grind this out. Happy 4th. It is 4th of July as well. Arson for the sub. 200, 300 bets. Spice for the sub. No, but you have a nice tan though. Thank you. Uh, you look odd. Why? Because I'm more tan. Hold up. Let me actually pull up my last stream. Joey, you've been gone for months, bro, where you've been thought you got abducted. I was on vacation. I was I was gone for a week. Wait, I want to actually see what's the difference in tan level. Damn! Hey, Dude, Jeff, I look how was your vacation? I look way you more tan, bitch. Become the most wanted I man look in way more for committing mass arson cause you were gone. Anyway, this is her fault. See you in court. You committed mass arson because I was gone. So crispy for the sub, gladiator for the sub, Patella for the sub. Hello, everybody. What day is it? How is everybody doing on this fine Monday? I'm back, bitch. It's the 4th of July. I'm back. I'm no longer on vacation. I'll be on vacation again for three days in like 10 days. But I'm back for the next two weeks, basically. How is everybody doing? I'm more tan. Look how tan I got. Everybody says I'm burnt. Chat, do I look burnt? Look, this was my last stream a week ago. Dude, I look pale. Oh, I look good. Oh, I look good now. I think I look good. Everybody's saying I look burnt. Fuck you. I don't look burnt. Everybody's saying I look goddamn burnt. Somebody redeemed Flex really hard. X2 for the sub. Master for the sub. Soapy for the sub. I missed so many goddamn subs. Holy fuck. Sasuke, fire. Arson already said that. No F for the sub. Two inch for the three inch. It's Andy for the sub. Holy shit. How has everybody been? Polly for the sub. I'm buddy for the sub. Respect for the sub. Happy fourth, by the way. Everybody say happy fourth in the chat. Unless you're not from the US, then you can go fist yourself. Um, <laughs> uh, we're back. We're doing reactions today. Uh, two quick things about VK, though. I did say that I was going to record a bunch of vlogs while I was gone. I have, I have some rough news for you guys. I didn't record shit. I did not... Re I... <laughs> I didn't record anything while I was gone. I recorded TikToks, okay? While I was gone on vacation... Pickle Boy for the sub, Tui for the sub, Goshi for the sub, Jake Thousand Bits, Jones for the sub. Why am I getting so many subs? Tui for the sub, Smexy for the sub. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I didn't record shit. I, I pulled out my... I have a vlogging camera, right? I'm going to use it this summer. I will. But I, I recorded myself leaving for the airport and at the airport, and then I didn't record anything there. <laughs> Y'all predicted that. I'm not even lying. I was, I was so dead set that I was going to record, and my whole chat was like, dude, you're not going to record shit. And I didn't record shit. I, <laughs> I didn't record anything. Uh, Dami for the sub, Daryl for the sub. Bro, I didn't want to. A rap for the 300 bits. I pulled up, and I was like, bro, I could either, because in the Caribbean, the I'm 20 years old. Everybody knows I'm 20. In the Caribbean, the drinking age is 18. Everything you can basically do for 18. So it was either I get really drunk, on a beach, on vacation, or I record a vlog. <laughs> and I was like, fuck that. Uh, two stories. Two two big stories. Number one, 
Uh, before, well, I'll tell these stories about vacation before I get into the reactions, okay? While I was gone, uh, let me tell you, the fucking plane flight was the worst thing I have ever experienced. I hate flying on planes. Chat, let me, let me just do a real quick question here. What's the longest plane flight you've ever been on? The longest plane flight. Nad for the sub. TLK for the, the sub. Teriyaki for the sub. Hour-wise. Four hours. I would say most people have been on anywhere between a two and a four hour flight. Some people have been longer. Longest flight I've ever been on was about six hours. Um, longest flight day was about like, I don't know, like 15 hours of full traveling with like stops and stuff. But anyways, um, Hey Joe, how was your vacation? And also happy 4th of July. 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Pay for the 300 bits. I don't know why the little ding thing isn't coming up. That's weird. Irene for the sub, multiplex for the sub, Bray for the sub. Uh, anyways. Joe is looking like a Chris. Why is it not doing the ding? Anyways, it's Joe, pissing me off. Rebecca, it's bro. pissing we me all off. It's you. pissing me off. Why is the bit not doing the ding? Why is it not doing the ding? Hold up. This is a test bit alert. That's weird. Did they get rid of it? Did they get rid of the the bit ding sound chat? Alert settings, donor message. Did they get rid of the ding? No, it's still there for the fucking subs. Why'd they get rid of the goddamn ding? I hate that. Maybe it's just a glitch. Anyways, dead man for the sub. Irina for the sub. I'm going to turn off the alert box and just read them so I can tell this story. Holy fuck. I get on the flight. The, the flight to the Caribbean, I left from Newark, right? That was the plate. Normally, I leave from Newark, JFK, or Philly. Those are the three airports that I normally travel from. I left from Newark. Newark to St. Martin was a four-hour and 40-minute flight. I'm 6'2". And I don't know if it's just me, but the leg room in flights has gotten lower. Either I've gotten bigger or the leg room has gotten less and less because your boy is crammed. And I had middle seat both fucking ways there. And let me do a little rant for you. This is a common known fact about, about middle seats, right? If there's, okay, there's in, in a three row on a plane. There is one, two, three, four, four arm rows, right? There's one arm row, aisle seat, another arm, middle seat, another arm, window seat, another arm. It is common courtesy, if you're in middle seat, to give the person in middle seat both armrests. They didn't give me both armrests! It's my girl, okay, flight there, my girlfriend gets aisle. I get middle, Okay. And I get middle because I'm the guy, I'm the boyfriend, I have to sit middle, all this other shit. So I'm fucking 6'2". I'm sitting middle, right? And this shit blows dick. I, my legs are against the front. And of course, the person in front of me does this. Of course. Every flight I'm on, the person in front of me puts their goddamn seat back. Of course. Of course. They put their seat back. And of course, I'm sitting in front of an exit row. And if you're in front of an exit row, you can't put your seat back. So I'm sitting in middle, the way there and back. Upright. Upright. I'm talking, I'm talking straight back 90 degrees. Four and a half hours. I'm sitting like this. I wanted to die. I, my ass, dude, I have no ass muscle, right? So my ass, I'm, I'm fucking sweating. Number one, I'm sweating. The plane is hot as balls for some reason. I'm fucking sweating my dick off it, in this bitch. I'm dying, right? And I don't get to put my seat back. The person in front of me put their seat back, so I have even less leg room, and I can't. I wanted to lay on the legs, right? See, on some flights, there's enough leg room to where I can put my head on the, the tray in front of me so I can, like, sleep. Like you're sleeping at a school desk. <clears throat> but since it was so crammed and the person put their seat back, I couldn't. So I literally had to sit here like this the whole flight. And I'm bitching. I'm moving. the, the And the dude on the flight there, I had middle. My girlfriend had an aisle. On the way back, we had middle and window. Both flights... I'm sitting in middle, squirming the whole time. I'm like this. 
just like uncomfortable, like visibly uncomfortable. And all I could think about the way there was that I was man spreading because the woman, there was a woman in the aisle next to me. <laughs> there was a woman in the aisle in, in, uh, in the, in the window. And all I could think about was don't man spread because I'm going to start some shit. And we, and right before I left, we watched like 30 minutes of videos on man spreading. And all I could think about was I'm being a dickhead right now. Right. And at the, at the end of the flight, I didn't give a fuck. I spread out. I was like, fuck you. I have middle seat. I have middle seat. I'm six, two. You're like five, six and like a hundred pounds max. I'm allowed to fucking spread out right now. And she clearly was pissed at me. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't I didn't give a rat's ass. That flight blew dick. My ass was killing me. At one point, I literally hovered. I was going like this, just above my seat, because my ass hurt that bad. And every, she probably thought I was ripping ass. I didn't. I did. She probably thought I was trying to fart or something. But I did. It was just so dick. Mark for the sub. Steven for the sub. Krista for the sub. Flam sub. Chulo, Knight Rex V Corp Russell Butter for the sub. Two inch for the three inch bets. The tan really brings out your forehead. I had front seat at a Newark airport and the seats were small as fuck. Empty for the three inch bets. Yeah, dude. Oh my God. Oh, and let me tell you how much worse it got. I'm there. Do you guys want to hear my gambling endeavors? Everybody knows I have a gambling problem. PB for the sub. And I'm allowed to, le I can legally gamble in the Caribbean. And so that's where it, that's where shit hit the fan. That's where shit hit the fan. Okay, I'm going to run you down. I'm going to run you down my gambling, okay? First night. <laughs> or no, second night. Zevo for the sub. First night I get there. It, we get there late. I'm like dead tired. I go to bed pretty early, right? Second day, we go to the casino after we eat dinner. Me, my girlfriend, my sister, and my sister's boyfriend. I blow $180 in 20 minutes at the roulette table. I lose eight bets in a row. Eight bets in a row. $180, five minutes. Like a snap of the finger. Like Harry Houdini snapped his fingers and took my money. And I was pissed. Pissed. And I walk out. I say, this is a sham. And I leave. <laughs> right? And I'm not that mad, right? Because I'm in the Caribbean. I'm, it's like my first day there. I'm fucking, it's whatever, right? Second day we go there, I, I'm up like $300 playing blackjack. I go to roulette. I lose it all. <laughs> I lose it all. I have no money in my wallet. Brooke, my girlfriend, everybody knows my girlfriend. She hands me a $10 bill. I put it into the slot machine. And I told you guys before I left that I wasn't going to play slots. Because slots in the Caribbean are rigged. They're rigged everywhere, right? But slots in the Caribbean can have lower odds than almost anywhere else. So I, pu I put a $10 bill in not even my ten dollars i my my girlfriend feels so bad for me that she gives me her own money to gamble because i'm down three hundred dollars in two days she gives me ten dollars i put it into the slot machine i win 50 everyone is telling me everyone around me is like just just leave i say no and and i put i hold up this picture hold up I hold up this picture. Where's the picture? One of my mods sent me the picture. It's the gambling fallacy. Where's the picture? I need the picture. One of my mods sent me the picture. In the oh, this is it. I hold, up, I hold up this picture to everybody. Hold up. I say, this is it. I'm, I'm at the diamonds, right? I'm there. I'm there. I'm almost there. <laughs> and so I cash in the 50 bucks, go to roulette. I cash out with $395. I, I win every bet that I play. Every bet that I play, $395. That's a dub. And I talk the entire time. Dude, see, this is what's so cool. Uh, I live in New Jersey. Everybody knows that. I go to Atlantic City to gamble all the time, right? Or I don't go to Atlantic City to gamble all the time. I'm not 21. I don't <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that. My friends go, I watch, okay? I've never done that in my life. I've never gambled in Atlantic City in my entire life. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Cut that cut that from the cliffs. Cut that from the cliffs. Uh Il Yanni for the sub, president for the sub, mid for the sub. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Anyways, um <laughs> 
when you're in Atlantic City, <clears throat> everybody there is from Atlantic City, right? And so you're gambling with people from New Jersey. It's not that interesting. When you're in the Caribbean, you're with people from all over the world that are vacationing. And I'm sitting at a six-seat roulette table, and it's me, a dude from New Zealand, two thick-accent German guys. Like, this is the best. Like, like actually, and okay, also, I the German guys were very racist. I... <laughs> Very racist. Uh, let me tell you, they were something. Uh, some, I, they asked me, these two German dudes asked me what this tattoo meant. And I said, it's the distance the sun was from the earth in kilometers. And they asked me if I was Chinese. I was like, what? And then they said some racist shit after that. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why are you, how does that, inc how does kilometers inc mean that I'm Chinese? That doesn't make any sense. Um, and I was like, what? And they're like, it's these two German dudes, me, a dude from New Zealand, a dude from Long Island, and then another person from like Australia. And I'm like, this is the coolest shit in the world. And because you're, you're gambling and you're also talking to people that are from around the world. Anyways, my, my night ends night two. I was down 180, down 120, and then up 90, right? So I recouped my money. Silverback for the sub. Night three rolls around. Night three rolls around and shit gets shit gets bad. Okay, Sensei Wu for the sub. So, so, night three rolls around. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. You were spamming the dubs, and I was happy the dub spam for a bit. And it gets it gets rough. Okay, night three rolls around. I don't even know what day it was. Um, we go to this bar. That has two dollar house shots. Two dollars. Two dollars for a shot. Two dollars for a shot. Most places in the US, it's like eight, eight to sixteen dollars for a shot. Two dollars for a shot. I take like six. And I'm like fucked, right? And before anybody's like, oh Joe, you're not 21, you can legally drink in the Caribbean at 18. Um, and so I'm like hammered. We go to the casino. And at, stop saying L. You don't even know what happened yet. Chris for the sub. Joe Bart for the sub. Jake for the sub. It's not going to end well. I'm going to let you guys know it's not going to end well. I'm like, I'm like screwed, right? And I'm like on the high from my win at the casino. I'm like, let's go back. Which is what, what a bad idea. I'm already, I'm already like pissed drunk in the, in the Caribbean. Um, from like shitty alcohol too. Cause I was drinking house shots and, and I'm like, let's go to the casino <laughs> and everybody and everyone around me is like, yeah, let's go. And I'm like, fuck yeah, let's fucking do this. And so we, I stroll back in and I play thriller, right? Because that's my gambling song. That's my gambling song. I play thriller. So I'm walking, I'm walking to the casino, blasting this song. Hold up. I'm walking to the casino blasting this. And I'm doing this while I'm walking there. I'm ready for a big win, right? And I'm, re I'm ready for a big win. I'm, and I, I think back to this picture here. I think back to this picture here. And I'm like, I'm like, there has to be some more diamonds for me to mine at the casino here, right? I must. I must be there. Even though it's a gambler's fallacy, it's completely wrong. It, it, no matter how much you lose, you will never win. Um, Chris, after the 300 bets, welcome back. We miss you. Thank you. And, uh, it's the 777 for the sub. Anyways, I'm blasting that song. That's my gambling song, right? I have to play that song before I go to the casino. And so, uh, we're playing the song. I pull up and as you know, if you didn't know, casinos give you free alcohol, uh, logically. And, and, and you would think, oh, why would a casino give you free alcohol? It's self-explanatory. The more drunk you are, the more bad decisions you make. And so they just give you alcohol, like for free. Like you just, they just keep get as much as you want. Like they, they, like they just keep giving it to you. They expect tips, right? But it's free. And I drink eight Coors Lights in two hours. <laughs> and I already had six shots. I drank like eight or nine Coors Lights in an hour and a half, actually. Um, I played blackjack that night. That was my game, right? And I played who won the Jack Sparrow challenge? My girlfriend, not me. I played blackjack for like 
If you know what blackjack is, it's the game that you go to 21. The goal of the game is to get as close to 21 and beat the dealer, right? I'm playing with these old guys. I'm so drunk, and I know I'm so drunk because I look to the guy to my left, and I literally say, you look like my philosophy professor. <laughs> I just said that to him out of nowhere. I'm just like, you know you look like my philosophy professor. And then I, I just keep playing. And that I should have known that was like just because – like when you're when you're not drunk, you have like you have the capability of a filter, right? And you surpass a level of drunkness to where you literally say anything that comes to mind. Ice for the sub. And I was at that level. And because I'm in the Caribbean, I'm on vacation, I'm legally allowed to drink. I had six shots, then I had eight beers, and I'm just I'm just throwing bones, right? I'm gambling. I'm up. I was already up $90 from the night before after I was down my massive loss. I'm up like 150 at blackjack. Then I go to roulette. Roulette is the game where the num you bet on the numbers, right? You bet you bet which let me actually show you because some of my chat probably has no idea what the fuck roulette is. Roulette is um I'll show the roulette table. I'll show you what bets I make too. Um this is a roulette table, right? You spin a number, you, or you spin a, a ball on this wheel, and it lands somewhere, and you can bet all these bets. I bet the outside. This is the outside. I bet on thirds, uh, black, red, odds, uh, maybe two to one, sometimes zero, stuff like that, right? And so I'm playing roulette. I'm up, like, overall, like $200. From being down 300 now I'm up, like, $200. I lose it in almost instantaneously. Like, I, I lose it. Like that, like so fast, right? Um, and I lose more. I lose, I lose two hundred. I lose all my profits. I lose a hundred. Then I'm out of money. And my dumbass says, my dumbass goes back to this picture again, again. My dumbass goes back to this picture again. And I think to myself, I should go back and get more money. So we walk back. I'm down. I'm I'm pissed drunk. We walk back like 10 minutes to back to the, the fucking resort room. And I take out another $200 to bring back. Because I'm like, bro, I'll win it back like no problem. Like that's literally what I was telling myself. I was like, it should be easy, right? Like it's easy. It's, it ain't going to be nothing, right? And we go back. Um, <laughs> we go back. Uh, I go back to blackjack. I gain some. I lose some. I go back to roulette. I'm about even, right? I've been there. I've been at the casino that day for like three, four hours, right? I've been there for a while. Go sleep for the sub. Keep drinking, by the way. I, they keep handing me drinks. And um, at one point, I was back even. I was back even. I was up so much. I put $250 on black. And I said, this is a surefire win. This is what I told myself. I was up. I was. I said, this is a surefire win. A surefire win. Listen to Pass the Duchy. Dude, that was my song there too. I listened to both of those songs before I went. 250 black. What number do you think it hit? Double zero green. Double zero green. 250 on black? That's like almost a 50-50 chance of winning. It hits double zero green. Mystical dude. Everybody sighs for me. And also, dude, some of the people I was gambling with, like, okay, the, it, for those of you that don't know gambling etiquette, people get pissed at you at blackjack, right? Like, when you play blackjack, how you play affects how the people play around you. You know what I mean? Like, if I, when you play blackjack, they're spreading cards. So say I have, like, a 15 and I hit when I shouldn't hit, that affects the dudes to my left's cards. Because now he's going to get a different card. So I could fuck them over. So people get mad at each other at blackjack all the time. But in roulette, your bets have no bounding on the people around you. And what I noticed at the Caribbean was no one gave a fuck what you did at blackjack. No one cared at blackjack. If you fucked up, everybody was like, whatever. At roulette, P at roulette I had these two old women. Like, like 65. Put in like one dollar chips on zeros. And they're looking at me like mad. 
that I put 250 on black. And they're like, oh, what a bad play that is. What a bad play that is. That's just me getting, that's unlucky go next for me. Your dumb ass is betting a one out of 36 odds. Like, what the fuck? They're getting mad at me for no reason. They're just sitting there pissed that I'm, what, every bet that I made, they're mad. And when I would win, they would get mad. When I would lose, they would be mad. Like, I actually almost told them to go fuck themselves. And one time, I won, like, 120 on, like, uh, a 40 bet on, like, two-thirds. And if you bet thirds and you win, you get twice your bet. Or you get two to one. So, if you bet $40 on two-thirds, you'll get 40, 80, 120. They'll give you $120. So, you profit 80. I did that, and I took my chips early, and the woman literally yelled at me. Not even the worker. The worker was laughing. The woman to my right was like, don't take those. I swear to God, I almost fought her right there. I almost, I almost scrapped. I almost scrapped in the Caribbean. I almost scrapped in the Caribbean right there. I was, bro, I was so pissed. I was actually like, I, I look at her. I literally gave her this look. Like, is this bitch talking to me? Like, telling me what the fuck to do? Like, go fuck yourself. Bro, it was pissing me off. Anyways. I'm up. I, I do that 250 blackjack bet. I'm down. I lose seven bets after that. I'm dead broke. I'm down $400. <laughs> and at that point, uh, I black out. I don't remember anything. I, <clears throat> I don't remember anything. My girlfriend tells me she gave me $30. I put it on uh, one-thirds, lost, and then stormed out of the casino and was just a dick. And then I, like, snapped back into it out of nowhere, and was like, what the fuck, um, and if you don't know what blackout means, the speed for the sub, or the sped, uh, for the sub, Joshua for the sub, I was down $400, right, uh, I, I was actually down 430, because I had to give my girlfriend $30 back, um, but I blacked out, uh, it was pretty rough, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, it was not fun, <laughs> it was not fun, if you don't know what blacking out is, it's when you forget everything that happened, you don't remember anything, um, and something that's cool, uh, or not cool, uh, but something that's cool that I, like, something that I think is cool is a way to know if someone's blackout drunk is to ask them the same question over and over. And this is just a tip for you guys in the future uh, when you're old enough to drink or if you're in the Caribbean and you're 18 and you can drink and all that, right? If you're with a friend that you believe is blackout drunk, ask them the same question. Um, say like, hey, what's your birthday or something like that? Just ask them something normal and they'll answer it. And if you ask them that every 30 seconds or every minute and they keep answering without being like, what the fuck? You just asked me that like five times. They're blackout drunk. Like they, their, their memory or whatever part of their brain is it, it, it what, what part of your brain it controls memory? Uh, that part is turned off. Right. And so I'm sitting there and I don't remember, like, literally, like, two hours. Uh, it wasn't awful, uh, and I woke up the next day feeling fine, but I was I was screwed. And after that, I, I didn't go back. I, after, after that, I was like, you know, maybe the casino. I was like, after that, and I looked at this picture one more time, and I was like, maybe, maybe this isn't, fuck. Maybe this isn't true. <laughs> maybe, maybe the diamonds aren't at the end of the road or at the end of the tunnel. Maybe how much I gamble doesn't matter. Um, yo mama for the sub. And the next day, this is another off topic story. The next, or not off topic, but it has to do with it. The next day, there was this very Italian guy that came up to me and he was asking me how my day went because he was at the casino with me and he won like $500. <laughs> and I was like, fuck you for rubbing that in. Um, but then he went back the next day and lost like two grand. So I was like, uh, fuck you, uh, dickhead. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're up, oh, you're up $500, oh, oh, you're up $500, fuck you, anyways, uh, that's how it went, I lost $400, it was trash, it was ab absolute trash, absolute trash, but I'm gonna go back, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna go back, oh, I'm definitely going back next year, um, rare Apollo, bro, bro, Hope this helps with the loss at the casino. Oh my god. Dude, you didn't don't get don't don't do that. I'm telling you right now, don't give me money when I tell you about my losses at the casino. Dub in the chat for that. You're great, but don't don't do that. 
when I tell you about my losses at the casino. Crucible for the sub. Yo, mama for the sub. Um, also, another quick thing. Uh, this isn't to Rare Apollo. Rare Apollo's uh, given a bunch of uh, fucking money before. So thank you. That, that's, that's an actual dub. When I landed uh, back in Newark, um, I check my, my phone. And someone... Does anybody remember a stream in early May where some dude gave me $1,000? Does anyone remember that? It was like early May, like May 3rd or so. Some dude gave me $1,000, right? Uh, he refunded it. <laughs> two months later. Two months later. Uh, I disputed it. I said, I said, I, I disputed it. I emailed him though. Do you guys want to see what I emailed? Uh, I'll read the email, but I won't say the person's name because they give me the person's name when they refund, uh, that, but like, I, I literally, I, I'll refund it at the end of the day, but this is what I said. I, I'll read it. I said, hey, blank, you sent me five donations in early May, equaling about a thousand dollars or so, which you now just tried to file and charge back saying you never actually sent the money and never received a product. If I needed, if needed, I will refund but initially rebutted the cases as this will put me in shit with PayPal because it seems like I didn't deliver $1,000 in product because that's how PayPal perceives it, right? When you send a Twitch streamer money and you refund it, PayPal perceives it as they're not fulfilling a, a product service, right? I said, please do not send me donations in stream if you're going to refund them. Donations are not required in my stream. Best regards, Joe. That's what I said. I was like, because this is, this is to my chat too. You don't need to send me money. You don't need to sub to me. You don't need to give me bits. You don't need to sub with Prime if you don't even want to because it's free, but you still don't even need to do that. You don't need to do shit, right, for my stream. If you're going to give me money though, don't refund it, okay? Don't steal your parents' credit card to send me fucking $200 and then get the reaction out of me and then refund it later, okay? You're a dickhead for that. Um, because you're getting the reaction that you wanted, your parents are going to get mad at you, and then I feel bad. So it's only a negative for me, right? You're sending me money, you're getting the reaction, you're getting the laugh, and then I have to send you your money back because I'm a moral person and I feel like a dickhead because you just wasted a thousand dollars in your fucking parents' money and sending it to me. Don't do that, okay? If you're going to send me money, make sure it's your own money or, or money that's allowed to be able to send to me. And you don't even need to do that. It's not required, but don't be a dick. If, you're, if you know the money's going to have to be refunded, don't send it in the first place, okay? That's my fucking rule of thumb. Don't fucking do that. It, 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 basically, it's indirectly gaslighting you. Yeah, just because it makes me feel like an asshole if I don't refund it. That's how it is. Because, like, this guy sent me $1,000 and then he's refunding it. Not even sending me a message saying, hey, I didn't mean to send that. He just refunds it saying, I didn't mean to, I didn't send this. Like, yes, you did, you asshole. Like, you did send that. You know you sent that. Like, what the fuck? Like, don't, don't do that. So did you pocket the money? No, I'm going to send it back to him. But I, I, initially, I, I, char I initially disputed it with PayPal and said, this guy's a fucking liar. Like I said, I, I literally sent to PayPal, I will send this guy his money back if he wants, but he's lying out of his ass. Because he is. I, they, ref they refund the dono and say, uh, I didn't receive a product. There is no product! You just sent me money! There is no product! You sent... Like, I've had people refund shit and be like, I told Joe to, uh, to uh, fucking eat Pickle Rick and he didn't. Like, oh, no shit. I don't have to do that. Low for the 300 bits. Scuff for the 300 bits. I'm refunding everything I sent you. That's great. Crates for the sub. Razzy for the sub. Two inch for the 300 bits. I'm broke. Take my money. Stop. MC Posh for the 300 bits. Joe, help it. Twitch won't let me resubscribe. Alex for the sub. Uh, go to Twitch support. Milky for the 2,700 bits. Holy shit. Internet loser for the sub. E intra for the 300 bits. You're a little red, Joe. Yeah, I'm screaming. I'm sweating right now. Zod for the sub. Dude, I'm sweating. Y'all see that shit? Holy fuck. All right, should we get into reactions now, chat? I've been ranting for literally 34 minutes. No, but like that, the trip was good uh, at the end of the day. But that's just like, uh, I wanted to do that quick message. You don't need to ever send me money in on Twitch, right? Watching is enough. I appreciate every sub I get, every donation I get, every bit dono I get. I appreciate it all, right? But if you're gonna send me money and you need it back, that's fine, okay? 
I'm not going to be pissed. If you need, send you send me 20 bucks and you're like, oh my God, I'm fucking homeless now. At, at some hypothetical, uh, some magical hypothetical scenario, you send me $20 and now you're fucking homeless. I'll send you the money back, right? But email my business account. Email, email it and say, hey, Joe, I didn't mean to do that, okay? I need the money, whatever. I'll send it back. Don't fucking file a charge back to PayPal and say, I never sent him this money. Like, yeah, you did, okay? Now you're just lying to a company to try and get your money back because you know if you go to PayPal and say, I need the money back, they're not going to give it to you because that's not a valid reason. So don't be a dick. Just email me. Say like, hey... Uh, I sent you $20 a month ago. I kind of fucking need that. I'll be like, okay, whatever, and I'll fucking send it back. Uh, and then you can file the, the dispute, and I'll send it then, right? Cacti for the sub. John, the guy that said you're 20 and you're not allowed to drink, I'm sorry I, if you took it to offense. I was just joking. Dude, I don't even remember you saying that. I was just prefacing this stream with that. Lil Uriel for the sub, Christian for the sub, Cacti for the sub. All right, let's get into this fucking video. We're starting off with a Mr. Beast video. Is that fine? Is that, is that chill with everybody, or do you want to start off with this? We're going to go to Dr. Phil's after that. Uh, $19 Fortnite card, the meme that ruined the creator. should have took another $200 See, out. what you is with so that? No, Zussie. Bro, why is the BitDono thing not working? It just starts talking out of nowhere. It's terrifying. Bro, you should have took another $200 out. You were so close to the diamonds. Start with the Dr. Phil. Okay, we'll start with the Dr. Phil, then we'll go, we'll go to Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, I didn't eat food for 30 days. Is this true? How do you not eat for... No, we're starting with the Mr. Beast. How the hell do you start with... Th uh, yeah, that seems fake. How do you How do you not eat for a month? Uh, then we're going to... The boys go to the Clown Motel. This is a pretty long video. We'll see how interesting it is. And inside the military is 223 million doomsday plane. We might do something after that, but I don't really know. We'll start with this. 220 pounds. And when I say... I am not eating any food for the next 30 days. Wait, cap. 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 I'm calling cap right now. Crucible for the sub. All right, I'm going to turn off the alert box, but I'll, I'll read them sporadically. Sensei Wu for the 300 bets. <gasps> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Sensei Wu, wise words, Wednesday, June 29th, 22. Before you call someone weird, think, are they weird because they are different or because they are different from you? Joe, why is your wall so dirty, silly goose? Shut up, Joey Bartosi. <gasps> oh my god, never mind. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, dude, that's 5,000 Joe, bits. do you like Wendy's? What the fuck? Wendy's nuts go in her mouth. Ah ha 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 ha. The semen demon strikes again. R A H H H H H H H H H H H H H. I see him in 300 bits. Arav for the 300 bits. Joe, if you pronounce my name right this time, I'll give you five bits. Arav? Arav. I don't fucking know. Joey Bartosi for the 5,500 bits. Dub in the chat. Sensei with 300 bits. Before you call somebody weird, think, are they weird because they're different Joe, or because they're different from you? why is your wall so dirty, silly goose? Okay, my wall's not dirty. Go fuck, go fuck yourself. <laughs> is it that? Chat, is my wall that dirty? It's there. It might be mold. It might be mold. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. might be mold. It might be mold. My dono? Uh, where is your dono? Oh, take my money? Thousand bits! Oh my god, I just squeaked right there. Two inch for the thousand bits. Holy fuck. Oog for the sub. Dude, it's not that dirty. It's not that dirty, is it? Thousand bits from tw uh, two inch. That's fucking nuts. All right, let's get back into this. They want to be hungry. This is what I currently look like, and I weigh 220 pounds. And when I say no food, I really mean it. This was the hardest I've ever pushed my body in my entire life. I gotta Google this. I gotta Google this. Can you not eat for 30 days? The body can survive 8 to 21 days without food and water in up to 2 months if it has accessible access to adequate water intake. There's no shot I could live for two months without food. The demon water. The demon wolf for the sub. How much weight would you lose? Longest I fasted was 10 days. See, like, could you... Do you think you could do, two, well, like, three times that? That's fucking impossible. Seriously, do not try this at home. I had a whole team of doctors watching me every single day. They kept track of all my vitals like these to ensure I didn't have a heart attack or worse. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> What's worse than a heart attack? A brain aneurysm? What's worse? What's worse? 
a heart attack or worse? What's worse? A stroke? Death? Instant death? You just you just die? Doctors. And if I for any reason eat food in the next 30 days, Chris, you get to shave my head. No, <laughs> no. There's no way he's going to 30 days. We're shaving his head. Oh my god, dude. Chris, you need a new haircut, man. You need a new haircut, Chris. That is rough. Madison from the Thrunge Bits. You missed my other dono. Ooh, what was your other dono? Dude, I don't think I could do that. Chat, how long do you think you could sir how long do you think you could do uh without food? Did you hear what happened with Technoblade? Oh, okay, okay, that's what it was. Uh, yeah. Um, while I was on vacation, I watched uh, the goodbye video. I'm not going to watch it on stream just because I don't want to, like, gain clout from someone's death. Uh, it is very sad. Rip in the chat for uh, Technoblade. Um, I watched the video. I used to watch them all the time. Just a little quick story. I used to watch them all the time. Um... Uh, in Minecraft Mondays, I used to watch him a little bit after that. Then I kind of got out of Minecraft content in general, so I really stopped watching him, but not because I didn't think he was a good content creator. I didn't even know that he had cancer. Um, and I saw his video on my recommended and Cloak sent it in the mod Discord. Uh, and I was like, wow. Uh, it's a really sad video. Uh, he died pretty young, 23. Um... It's 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 hard to imagine that. Uh Valley for the sub, Don Quixote for the sub. It, it it's very sad. It is very sad. Um It made me think about it. Like that whole day, uh I was just thinking about like life and stuff, the human consciousness, death, what happens after death, stuff like that. I am a philosophy and religion major, so I I really get into that. I've been struggling myself um with finding out what I believe. Uh, as well as just dissociation. A lot of the time, I've been dissociating a lot. Like, a little parasocial Andy here. Uh, I dissociate, like, four times a day. If you don't know what that is, it's basically, like, uh, a time period where you kind of, like, don't exist. <clears throat> I I sometimes do it purposely just to perceive what it's like to know more. But uh, sometimes it's pretty scary. Uh, a lot of people with anxiety and depression dissociate casually uh, without even wanting to. Uh, it's terrifying. Uh, just the feeling of not existing. It makes you think about all that stuff, the afterlife. And and I'm I, the reason I'm bringing that up is I'm glad or I'm hopeful that I can have a lot of time to find out what I believe. And I feel bad for Techno that he died at such a young age without really being able to fulfill um, an entire life necessarily or something like that. Uh, but he did accomplish a lot. He was a great guy. Uh, and I'm sorry to see that. Uh, I'm sorry to hear uh, that he passed away. Uh, Pish for the sub. Zenim for the sub. But yeah. Uh, Cuxo for the sub. I'm not going to watch the video just because I don't really want to gain clout from that. Uh, I don't, I don't want to farm his death for clout. I, 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 that's why I just wanted to kind of mention that there. The challenge has officially- Oh my god, my headset is fucking broken again. Sleepy go. Guess who wants these? these. I know. You're right. And since I'm not- He even farmed his death. Technoblade farmed his own death. Well, no shit. I would farm my own fucking death. The hell? He farmed his own death, rightfully so. If you're 23 years old and you're on social media and you know you're gonna die, yeah, rightfully so, you can fucking farm your own death for your family. The fuck? There's nothing wrong with that. He said, if I had 100 more lives, I would choose to be Technoblade.